We first told you about the story of a Somerset County police dog forced to retire because of cancer last month. Well, he's still off the job, but getting special recognition tonight. And Melanie Gillespie is here now with his story. Mel? Marty, we're hearing from Arnie's handler for the first time tonight, who says laying his best friend to rest will be the hardest thing he's had to do. He spent nearly a decade on the job sniffing out suspects and fighting crime. Somerset Borough Morning, Chief of Police yeah. says he wore One the badge with his great respect and dignity as any other officer the on the job. That dog was part of me, and he truly showed me what a friend was. But in January, Somerset's canine, Arnie, was forced to retire, battling terminal cancer given only weeks to live. When he went down for me that day when he fell, I knew something was wrong with him because the dog was always up and beside me. He was there for me for whatever I needed. His handler, Officer Brian Harbart, spent months of training with Arnie. It was his partner day in and day out and sleeps outside of his bedroom door each night. I'm six foot five, 235 pounds. I'd rather go fight six people at a bar somewhere than have to go through this. As Arnie spends the rest of his days in the comfort of his home, an artist from Altoona paid tribute to his work and his service with a painting presented at a borough council meeting Monday night. It is a way artistically that I can share in some of the pain that they've had losing Arnie into the department, but also bringing the joy to remember him as the good canine citizen and protector of the city of Somerset. My wife and I do appreciate this. We will hang this in a special place, and that dog will always be there with us. Arnie's handler says they will have a memorial service for Arnie when he passes and hopes to name his next canine, Arnold James, after the nickname he gave to Arnie. Reporting live, Melanie Gillespie, 6 News.